New year, new time for Nintendo, and it's time for wild speculation to start happening. Now, I have no idea what Nintendo is going to do for 2023, and complete transparency, I haven't the slightest idea. There are things that I know I want to see, but there were things I wanted to see in 2022, and I had absolutely no idea what we would actually end up with, so it's going to be a complete surprise to me. Uh, my only prediction that I make is I believe that the first Nintendo Direct is going to be in March, if not February, but I do believe definitely March. That is my prediction. I could be completely wrong, of course, but I think that's good timing. Uh, another thing I know that's happening is, sadly, the Wii U and 3DS eShops are going to be gone by March. So, between now and March, grab everything you can off of those eShops. I'm definitely going to be grabbing what I can off the Wii U. I'm pretty certain I've got most of what I want off the 3DS. I might have to double-check. I think I just need to get the other Oracles game, because I have Ages. I don't think I have Seasons. And then Super Mario Land 2, and I, I might get the rest of the Super Mario Lands, but uh, grab whatever games that you haven't grabbed on those consoles yet, because you won't be able to do it in the future. Nintendo, one of Nintendo's most boneheaded decisions, although it makes sense from a monetary standpoint, it just, from a consumer standpoint, it's completely terrible. People still love those consoles, and they're just promoting people to crack them and start running emulators, and that's, you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that, Nintendo. You want to curb piracy and emulation? Keep these shops open. I don't care if you close down the social services, just keep the stores open, but they won't do that, so. Grab everything while you can. In fact, buy as much as possible to show Nintendo that there's still interest. So, beyond that, little rant aside, as far as the future of what's happening with Nintendo, and as far as this year, my prediction, or my what I'm assuming that they'll do is because there's so much non-gaming stuff happening with Mario being Super Mario World and Universal Hollywood and the Super Mario Brothers movie I really believe that we're going to see at least two other first party major Nintendo titles this year I don't think we're going to see more than that if we do I will be very pleasantly surprised uh, we know that Fire Emblem's coming, that's the first major one, and uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Neither of which I'm particularly looking forward to myself because I'm not a fan of Breath of the Wild, and Fire Emblem I just haven't played enough to decide whether I love it or hate it. But, as far as Mario, Metroid, Star Fox, Donkey Kong, etc., etc., there's nothing, as far as we know, there's, there's nothing. It would not surprise me if, with all the Mario hype, there is a Mario game to be released. I just don't know if it'll be a spin-off or if it'll be a major title. That's completely up in the air, and that's all for all of us to speculate about. But, I think it would be good timing, for sure, to release a Mario game to capitalize on the movie in the theme park, and I'm pretty sure they are well aware of this. So if something is in the works, at least having it announced would be good. As far as, you know, sort of black sheep titles like Donkey Kong and Star Fox and Metroid, well, we could see one of those this year. We didn't see them last year. Well, that's not true. We saw Advance Wars last year, and that's still not out. What what the heck happened to that? <laughs> that uh, that was a surprise. It was one and two, and it, it still hasn't come out. It got pushed back, I guess, indefinitely. I don't know what was wrong with it. It was very weird. Uh, I want to see more characters for Mario Strikers Battle League and potentially modes, although I think they've completely given up. That game was a horrible failure. I'm very mad at Nintendo for that. That is one of my favorite franchises in all of Nintendo, and they completely dropped the ball, no pun intended. There needed to be Koopa Troopas, there needed to be Hammer Bros. They could have introduced so many more characters to that, and I don't know what the future going forward, what they're going to put for characters and content in that, but they shouldn't abandon it. Because if they want that game to get any traction, they need to add more to it, more to it, more to it. They need to not just leave it in the state that it's in. Because the state that it's in, it's terrible. It's horribly grindy. If you want to grind for gear, you're going to have to do uh, the main tournament mode over and over and over and over and over again just to grind coins. And it's just... It's... It's fun. It's got fun gameplay mechanics. But it needs more content. And that's... I really hope that Nintendo continues to add content. I think there's maybe one or two more packs left if I had to speculate that they'll add, but they need to do more than that. They need to do way more, not just abandon it like they did Mario Golf. That that uh, That's another one that made me upset. They just dropped Mario Golf entirely off a cliff. 
And that game had a lot of potential. They did, like, two or three characters, and then that was it. Two or three characters, two or three courses, and then it was done. So, they clearly don't care about the Mario Sports franchises for whatever reason. They must not see them as profitable anymore. But, I'm still glad we have them, and I still play them a lot. And it makes me worried if they do Mario Baseball. That's another thing. They could do Mario Baseball, but it needs to be done right. Oh my goodness, does it need to be done right. And it needs to... It needs to have content. It needs to have characters. If they do another Mario Sports Mix, that also needs to be done right. I mean, I feel like they're just trying to give up on the Mario Sports thing and just lean into Mario Kart, and I don't like that idea. I think that's a very, very stupid idea to just cut all your losses and go pouring everything into Mario Kart. A lot of people are speculating on new Mario Kart this year or next, or sometime in the near future, but... With all the content that they're loading onto Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's not happening. I do not see it happening. There's still, what is there, two or three DLC packs left? Or waves of content? So I don't see them announcing a new Mario Kart anytime soon. I'm sure one's in the works. I mean, they'd be stupid to not make a new one at some point. But they're trying to squeeze as much as humanly possible out of this one. And it's kind of crazy to see, considering it's a port of the uh, Wii U title. And I have the original Wii U game, and it's just, it's it's pointless to go back and play it, because there's so much less content. You know, this one has most of the original DLC out of the box, whereas the Wii U title doesn't really have much of anything, if you have it just bare bones. Uh, Splatoon's still going strong, so we could see more content for that, obviously. I think there's going to be some pretty big expansions are rumored to be in the works. But as far as new games are actually concerned, it's it's a shot in the dark. I mean, it's anybody's guess, and only people who are at or closely affiliated with Nintendo know what's going on. And some people are going to say it's a big year, some people are going to say it's not going to be a big year. I think financially it's going to be a huge year between just the Mario Brothers movie and the theme park. That's going to bring in so much revenue for Nintendo, it's going to be nuts. On top of the uh, revenue from the theme park in Japan as well, I mean, there's... Nintendo is in no danger of going out of business for all the Nintendo haters out there. They, uh, they're they not going anywhere. Absolutely. I think the biggest question is, are they going to announce a new console to replace the Switch? Because the Switch is nearing probably what would be its pinnacle lifespan. Um, off the top of my head, what has it been? Eight years? Seven years? I'm, I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head how long it's been. I know it's been a long time. But people are starting to get antsy and going, okay, does Nintendo have something more powerful up their sleeves? Because obviously people... I think people want another Switch. They want another hybrid home console slash handheld. They love that design. And it's been their most... I think it's been their most successful console, period. So they'd be stupid to not do something in the vein of that. But who knows? If they're going to go for horsepower, then it might just be a dedicated home console. I, I don't know. Or maybe they'll do two consoles at once. They'll split the Switch into two consoles, kind of like it used to be. Do like a Game Boy style handheld and then do a home console. Maybe bundle them together. I don't know. That'd be strange, but... Most likely they'll do another design based off the Switch. The only problem is, is if you want horsepower, you're going to have to sacrifice with the portability. There's a lot of troubleshooting there. I, the, uh, the original Switch has so many heating issues. I had to get a cooler for my original Switch just to record this footage, and it's it's working beautifully. I wasn't... I paid 20 bucks for it, so I didn't think that it would really draw heat away, but it does. And I was able to record quite a lot of uh, Mario Kart footage where, as beforehand, I would have had to stop because it would have gotten too hot. I still haven't tested it with Splatoon, which was the game that really got it hot, but... You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, as far as future predictions are concerned, still don't know. With a potential new console, I don't see them announcing it this year. At least not in the beginning half of the year. And if they do, then... You know, I, who knows? But there's a lot of silence. And usually when there's a lot of silence, that means that they're building up to something. I don't know what it could be. But I think they're building up to something. They're they're building up hype for the Mario movie, obviously, and for Uni the park at Universal. But genuinely speaking, who knows? Uh, who who knows what 
you know, what's down the pipe, so to speak. No pun intended. But I know I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited to see what they do. I, I do have concerns, though, because it does seem like they're they're adopting the philosophy of make half a game now and add the other half later. And it's profitable for them to do so. So I don't see why they wouldn't. And I don't like that philosophy in any gaming company, let alone Nintendo. So I'm a little bit worried about quality going forward for the company. But... If they've still got people who are cr capable of creating hits, then I trust that they'll utilize them to the best of their abilities. And that's all that I can do, really, is all I can hope that they make use of their best developers to really pump some good stuff out. Because who knows, I think the Switch has maybe a year or two left. So we'll see what happens if they're going to do something big. I haven't the slightest idea. But I know what I would like to see, and I, I've talked in past prediction videos, because I, I don't remember, did I do a 2022 Nintendo video? I think I did. And in that, I don't remember if... I think I took the same approach, whereas I don't know what's going to be announced. Obviously, when there's a Direct, I'm going to talk about my predictions for the Direct, but until then, you know, I uh, there's really not a whole lot to say. I know Arlo did a predictions video, and I kind of feel bad making the video, because it's like, oh, am I just piggybacking off of him? It's like, nah. Nah, everybody who's doing Nintendo content is trying to figure out what the heck this year's gonna look like, what the outlook is going to be. But there's not a whole lot of leaks or super speculation, so I think that Nintendo's really trying to put a lid on that stuff. And that's one thing about the Mario movie that that's going to cause. Is the Mario movie and the theme parks, they're going to be so super aggressively protective of the IPs, more so than they are now. So, all I'm going to tell people is be careful. Because who knows what they're going to do. They're going to be very ferocious in protecting their IPs. So, going to try to plug up all the holes for the leaks, all fan projects and tournaments. They're going to try to shut down more than they are already. They're going to get really aggressive with it. That's one of my honest predictions about 2023 and beyond, is Nintendo is going to get very aggressive with protecting their IPs. Incredibly so. Way more than now. So just be careful how you use those IPs, because they will come after you. 100%. So, just be aware of that. We've also got Pikmin 4, which I completely forgot about, which I don't know if that's coming out this year or next. I think it's coming out fall of this year? I'm not going to try to say like I know because I don't. But it looks promising. I'm, I'm not a big Pikmin guy. I haven't really even... I think I played a couple of minutes of the first one in, like, GameStop or something back in the day. Or maybe it was... that time, it was probably Funko Land. Good grief. But either way, I really haven't had hands-on with Pikmin, don't have much of an opinion of Pikmin. Again, that's more of an Arlo thing, so, you know. But if it is coming, I am happy for the fans of that franchise, they're at least getting fed well. I was really surprised by Kirby's Return to Dreamland being uh, re-released and cell shaded or essentially, I don't know if it's remade or if they just put a cell shaded filter on it or what. I wasn't honestly sure if I was going to get it, because we've had so much Kirby this year. We've had, uh, or last year, I should say, we had Kirby in the Forgotten Land and Kirby's Dream Buffet, which was a lot of fun. But notice how quickly that came and went. <laughs> that, that game probably should have been free to play, and it wasn't. And there's not a whole lot. I mean, it probably it got very repetitive and boring. I know people made entire videos on it on how great it was, but I was... I was just like, it's fun, but should have been free to play. That's another thing I gotta put back in my old Switch. Now that I've got a cooler, I gotta put a whole bunch of games back on it that I moved to my Switch Lite. So, I mean, that's exciting. That's gonna probably be the first major first party launch of the year. But that's all stuff that we know about. The, the stuff that we don't know about is what people are curious about, especially when it comes to directs. And my prediction, again, for the directs is gonna be March, February or March. If they wait till April, that's, uh, it should be a long one if they're going to wait that long. But, I, I think that this year, overall, is going to be pretty decent. 
I think it's going to be a decent year for Nintendo, but I don't think it's going to be mind-blowing in terms of announcements, because you've already got so many major games between Tears of the Kingdom and Fire Emblem. I don't see there being too many more major releases for the year. I think it's going to be mostly focusing on indie titles and third-party stuff and third-party collections and remasters and re-releases, because that's what they all seem to focus on right now, especially on Square Enix side. Uh, the Pixel Remaster for Final Fantasy is coming in, I believe, April, and I couldn't be more excited about that because I've been begging Square Enix on all of social media to release that thing onto Switch because that's where it freaking belongs. So they're finally doing that, and they're going to do, I think, two physical editions. They're going to do the super expensive collectible one and then maybe a regular one. Or maybe they're just going to do this super expensive collectible one that has all the games in it. I don't know. I might splurge on that, if at all possible. I might go all in and just get that whole thing, because I love the classic Final Fantasies. I think they're really great, and they deserve more praise. The whole 8-slash-16-bit era of Final Fantasy deserves way more love than it gets, because it, it gets so overshadowed by 7 and 8 and 9 and 10... When in reality, I think the golden era of Final Fantasy was 1 to 6. I think that's really classic Final Fantasy, and that's the Final Fantasy that I, I've fallen in love with over the years. I didn't grow up with it, but as I got into the series, I started playing those games, and I was like, these are really good. So, pretty excited about that. And I can't really think of anything else that I know of that I'm really excited for. That's the other thing. It'll be interesting to see what Pokemon does with uh, Scarlet and Violet if they'll actually fix the game. And no, I didn't buy Scarlet and Violet because it's broken. You know, I said I wasn't going to buy Sword or Shield and I ended up buying Shield and loving it. So maybe if they fix Scarlet or Violet, I'll pick it up. But I have no interest as of right now. I'm, I'm satisfied with going back and playing uh, Shining Pearl. And yes, I like Shining Pearl. I know there are a lot of people like, Shining Pearl sucked. It was terrible. It didn't live up to my expectations. I wanted something that was basically sword and shield, and all I got was this stupid remake that was trying to look like a DS game. It's like, I love that. That's the whole reason why I love that game, is because it felt like going back to classic Pokemon. And I love that. Yeah, it was very modernized, but look and feel, it felt like classic Pokemon, and I that's kind of what I wanted. I was getting sick of a lot of what they were doing with the 3D. You know, I, I like both experiences. I feel like if the Pokemon company was smart, they would do a 2D Pokemon game and a 3D Pokemon game like Zelda does. Speaking of which, that's something I'm really hopeful for for 2023 is a 2D Zelda announcement. Um, either they port A Link Between Worlds, which is my favorite 2D Zelda of all time currently, or they do the Oracle games, because they've got the engine for Link's Awakening. Just use the engine for that and do the Oracle titles in one bundle. I think that'd be really great. But who knows? Uh, maybe re-release Minish Cap? That would be a big surprise. Because people like 2D Zelda. I, I'm i leaning heavy on 2D Zelda because 3D is just going to be more Breath of the Wild clones. They're not going to do something like Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker ever again, because... This Breath of the Wild formula is so stinking successful, and I hate it because of the stupid breakable weapons, and I don't want to rant about it. But yeah, I love I love 2D Zelda, and I want them to do either a remake or something completely new. Link's Awakening wasn't bad. It just was kind of... okay. It I think people were expecting a game on the level of quality of Link Between Worlds, and it just failed to live up to that. It didn't have as much content... And it didn't feel, it doesn't feel as replayable. I mean, it's faithful to the Game Boy, original Game Boy game almost to a T. But there's not a whole lot else going for it. So I really want to see them try it again. I don't know how successful it was. I don't think it was very successful numbers-wise. But, I don't know, I liked it. I still haven't finished it. I'm on the final dungeon. It's frankly been kicking my butt. I never really got far in the original. And I, I played the DX version on the 3DS, because, again, I didn't grow up with it. But I did borrow Oracle of Ages from a friend, and I would like to see Seasons and Ages ported over to the Switch in a remade form. So, well, okay, then technically it wouldn't even be a port, it'd just be a remake. What the heck am I talking about? But I would like to see both of those games remade, but who knows? I mean, 
there's room for so many announcements, but yet I feel like it's so packed that Nintendo's really just not going to, at least for the first Direct, they're not going to do anything crazy. It might be one major announcement and then just a whole bunch of third-party stuff. It seems like they're really trying to rebuild that third-party market that they lost with the Wii and the Wii U. You know, they or the, that they promised with the Wii U and failed to deliver, but are actually able to deliver on Switch. So, I, I don't know, but... I don't think there's any reason to not be optimistic about 2023. I think it's going to have a lot of decent releases at the least, but I just don't think that first-party Nintendo is going to be all that strong. It was... Uh, there was a lot in 2022. There was a lot more than people anticipated. I mean, we got Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we got uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, we got Kirby's Dream Buffet, and... Mario Strikers Battle League, we got a lot in 2022, but I don't think we're going to get a lot in 2023 as a result of how much we got in 2022 is ultimately my point with this video. I I don't think it's going to be terrible. What they would what would really be mind blowing is if they announced another Animal Crossing because there have been rumors about them already developing the next one, which I believe are credible. You know because. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons is just, well, it's a mixed bag. I still play it regularly, you know, as we're on the Animal Crossing track in Mario Kart, I just noticed that, but ultimately, with Animal Crossing, they're done with content, so that game is pretty much all but dead, except for the Happy Home Academy, or the Happy Home Paradise? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Happy Home Paradise. But you only get so far with that stuff, and there's still so much that they can add to that franchise, so obviously they're going to make another one. But the question is, is it going to be for the Switch, or is it going to be for whatever the new console happens to be? I think it's too soon for them to announce something like that. But I do believe that they are actively working on it. They probably started as soon as uh, New Horizons was finished, so I'm not at all surprised by that. I just want to see more features added, and I want to see, I want to see crafting refined and i want to see breakable items taken away i'm so sick of breakable items in games that you can't fix i'm so tired of that nintendo why are you doing this you're you're proactively inhibiting my experience by doing it that way it's just it's ridiculous but anyways those are my jumbled thoughts on nintendo's 2023 let me know what you think what you think they're going to do what predictions that you've heard or rumors that you've heard things that you would be interested in seeing or Things that you're excited about, things maybe you're not so excited about. I'm interested to hear what you have to say on regards to the issue. It's gonna be it's gonna be a long 2023, and I think that there's a lot of there's gonna be a lot of time to hear what's going on and a lot of time to speculate in between directs. I don't know how many directs there are going to be, if they're gonna be more, if they're gonna be less. E3 is rumored to come back, I think, or they're gonna to try to bring it back in some form, but I don't think anybody's really taking that seriously now that we've got directs and more direct presentation from different gaming companies, so I don't think that that's anything to get anybody's hopes up for Nintendo-wise, so. But it's a thing, I guess. But anyways, let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much for sticking around for my rambled commentary, and I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Super Koopa. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.